Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the screenshot is not working in Windows 11. The first solution that you should always take in consideration is to check the date and time set. To do this right click the clock region in the lower right corner and then select adjust date and time. If the set time automatically option is switched on just turn it off and then select change next to set date and time manually. Now make sure to change the date to October 31st or before, then set it back to the latest current date. So by manually resetting the time and date, the snipping tool reconfigures its settings, therefore correcting any potential problems that may have occurred previously. Another great solution is to restart the app. To do this, just right-click the Windows button, then simply select Task Manager from the list of options. In here, just find the snipping tool under the Processes tab and then right-click it and select the End Task button. Now you can just press on the Windows button, type Snipping Tool and select it from the search results. Now the program should just work properly. Another great solution is to allow the Snipping Tool to run in the background. To do this press the Windows button and select the Settings icon and then on the left pane make sure to click on Apps and then on the right side click on Apps and Features. Now just scroll down until you find the Snipping Tool and then use the three dot menu on its right side to open the Advanced Options. Under the background apps permission, just use the drop-down menu to choose always from the list. You can also repair the app. In the same apps and features window next to snipping tool, just scroll down until you find the reset section. Now you can just click on the repair button or you can also use the reset option to reset the program entirely. Another useful solution is to update the keyboard driver. To do this right click the windows button then select device manager from the list of options. In here just expand the keyboard's directory and then right click on the standard keyboard and then select the update driver from the opened menu. In here make sure to click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to install the latest driver. Now you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another great solution is to run the SFC scan. To do this press the Windows button then type in CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. In here type or paste in the following command and press enter. Now wait for the completion of the process and after you've finished just restart your computer and launch the snipping tool once again. And that's it, plenty of solutions to check in the long run. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.